Now ladies, first of all, when I say can I hear you, I want to scream like you just saw that mixed race boy from Big Brother. <laughs> so ladies, can I hear you? Right, that wasn't loud enough. I said a mixed race boy from Big Brother. Louder. Okay, okay. Amanda, I want to hear you say, yeah. Amanda, are you in the building? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, alright, alright. Right, we're gonna give you a nice show. Obviously the last few waiting to kick in this door, not waving four fours over stanzas and meters, not watching no face walking past ya, no full ceiling. <laughs> Hello there listener, 
This is spoken word, and I'm not finger clicking. I know I'm I talking like this, so you can hear every word that I'm saying. No, don't mug me off, please. <laughs> Already cast me out, and you don't even know my worth. Feeling to probably say by force and strangle the haiku out of you. Speaking up in syllables, not regenerated material. Believe in that original. Three straps like Addy. That's how we be. Born to do it, no Craig David, but we artfully dodge lazy music making. And we chart from the heart where it should all start, not fought back rented cars like fake stars making music only lasting one season. And we are here talking lifetimes. Feel our words, hear our rhyme. I'm hearing people saying, yo, it's about time. Give it up to my guys on the keys and on the guitar. Yeah. Okay, you guys can cut it out now. It's not about you, it's about me. Um, <laughs> have any of the guys in here ever tried flirting with a bank cashier and then realized she can see your balance? <laughs> yep! <laughs> cool. You know what they say as a comedian, right? Uh, you're only as good as your last gig. And if that were true, my last gig should have been my last gig. Uh, I went up to Cardiff to do a weekend and it was terrible. And, um, but the mad thing is that you fell in love with the city of Cardiff. You fell in love with Cardiff. But it's very rare that as a comedian you get a genuine... What's the point in running away? Leaving behind my dogs and becoming a stray? And I pose the same question to you. Once you've left for good, what do you suggest you should do? You're gonna jump through the window, let them figure it out, or hold open the door and shout, nigga, get out. <laughs> Things are getting awkward between me and Amanda because I'm still telling you what I'm still telling thugs, and they're still selling food, that means still selling drugs. And no one shook a police in a hood full of G's, and even I don't like the look of police because they don't set foot on the streets, and they can't set the wood from the trees, so they don't separate the good from the greed. <laughs> I can't play dumb, they say some things I doubt I'm from a big bad place and I'm looking inside out I really wish you wouldn't act like you know Cause it's a fact that like you don't So I go downstairs, kettle on its fate. Man, I take a decade making a perfect cup of tea they could show at the Tate. And on a side note, I'm talking PG or telly, nothing else counts and that's enough for debate. So, <laughs> as I sit there and sit the masterclass and surviving the aftermath of whatever, my ideas turn to questions needing answers and I can't stir these dancers behind the shadows of my eyes, but they're like, um, generally, why are most stand-ups guys? And how come we are so keen to discuss life's lows and not highs and fucking hell, how come some laugh, some like cries and who has a cake and doesn't eat it and who actually ran from MJ when he went beat it and how come people don't answer a piece of string is twice half whatever it is long and how come Simon Cowell is never actually wrong because I'm sure you'll agree very very important questions confusing the scene as I sit with my brew in a computer screen you know it's weird what a chap will get up to if he's left alone with a laptop in the middle of the night <laughs> I mean, I write, <clears throat> but first. I believe Jehovah Jireh. 